Hey, this is Jim coming at you live with another segment of the Real Estate Expert Online. Thanks for joining me, folks. Today, we're going to talk about a hot topic that's going around. The NAR, National Association of Realtors, had been sued and caught up in a, in a lawsuit about brokerage commissions. So all these real estate agents are all in an uproar now. So they're trying to figure out what the heck is going on and if they should even be in real estate selling real estate any longer. So let me break it down for you real plain and simple. Basically, NAR has agreed to pay back $418 million in a, in a class action suit, I believe. And what it does, it restricts the real estate commission from offering set real estate commissions for realtors, buyers, agents in general, so they can no longer offer and advertise buyers, agents, commissions. So what does that mean? Well, that means that a buyer's agent is going to have to reach out to the buyer and try to convince them to pay them a commission because the seller no longer has to pay a commission for the transaction. Now, as, as, as in the real estate industry, listing agents would typically list the property and they would negotiate a set commission amount, be it six, seven percent. Well, if somebody, a group of people got together and said, hey, let's, let's set this at 6% or 7%, well, that's price fixing. And that's where the NAR got themselves in trouble from, from what I heard on the news. So when a listing agent comes and offers to list the property for sale to a seller, they would normally pay the 6 or 7%, whatever is negotiated with that listing agent, to sell their home. Well, in addition to that, the listing agent will offer uh, half of that, typically three, three and a half percent to the buyer's agent for bringing the buyer's agent or the bringing the buyer into the transaction and consummating the sale of the property. Well, now with all this, this uh, uproar and the news that's gone around, buyer's agents are, are at a loss. They don't know what to do. I've been watching on some of this uh, social media platforms that buyer's agents are already seeing on the multiple listing service where they're offering 0% to the buyer's agent. Well, that doesn't give a buyer's agent any incentive to go show that property and represent the buyer any longer. So I got a perfect solution to fix this, folks. So stay tuned. Make sure you listen to the whole segment I have here uh, before you click off onto another another broadcast. So here, here is what's going on. So now the buyer's agent is going to have to try to finagle a way to convince a buyer that they're worth their service to represent the buyer and show the property as well as make sure their inspections are being conducted and drafting up proper documents, contract agreements, and negotiations with the seller, uh, seller's representation uh, being the listing agent. So the, the problem lies with the buyers now trying to go out and they can already find the properties themselves online. The MLS back in the day was the the only way to go. You had to get with uh, an agent to get the inventory. Well, with this day and age, with all the technology, you can go online and find properties listed through Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com. It's all open to the general public. The problem still lies with the fact that most buyers, well, I shouldn't say most, but there's a lot of buyers, first-time buyers especially, do not really know what they're doing and they need a, a representation to help as a neutral party help negotiate because it's a very emotional thing and it's going to be one of the biggest investments they're ever going to make. So why not have representation? So 
first of all, on the on the listing agent side, they're they're kind of screwing the pooch, so to speak, because they will list the property now and not offer any incentives to the buyer's agent, which majority of the time a buyer's agent is the one that sells the property. Now, back in my day when I was practicing real estate uh, under a, a real estate brokerage and was a broker myself, I sold about 90% of my own listings. That means not only did I list the property and advertise it, I brought the buyer as well and made the deal and I didn't have to share that six or seven percent commission with any outside agent. Most listing agents, they don't do that. They stick a sign in the yard, stick it in the multiple listing service and hope for the best. They hope that a buyer's agent is going to pull up the database, which is the MLS, see the property and get the buyer out to take a look at it and sell the property on behalf of the listing agent. Listing agent didn't do much of anything other than get the listing appointment, get the contract signed with the seller, put it in the multiple listing service, and then it automatically plugs out to all the, the marketing campaigns on their behalf. So they don't really have to do a whole lot of anything um, except for wait for that buyer's agent to come by with an offer and then they would help negotiate the agreement with the seller. Well, a couple I can see a couple bad things going going south here real quick. First of all, sellers properties are going to stay on the market a lot longer because they don't have the help that they once did by having buyers agents come out and sell the property for that listing agent that they hired. Two, the 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 listing agent is going to be setting on inventory a lot longer and not get the property sold and not get paid any commission at all. So here's the solution to it all. It's really quite simple. You know, so, so for all you buyer's agents out there freaking out, thinking that you need to go get another career, here is a simple solution. And uh, it's, it's quite simple. So regardless of whether or not the MLS list 0% commission for the buyer's agent, I would still show your buyer the property they want. When you write up the contract agreement, in the agreement you would specify that you are to get paid three, three and a half percent, whatever you feel is worth based on the sales price of that home. Newsflash folks, Listing agents have to present any and all offers. It's the law. So at the end of the day, the seller is going to want to see an offer and have an opportunity to at least negotiate it and have an opportunity to sell their home. So at the end of the day, it's the buyer's money that really pays the commission. But when you break down on a, a closing statement, a settlement statement, it always shows typically that the seller was the one that paid the commission. It's just like closing costs. Those have always those fees have always been negotiated with the seller. Not all buyers have a lot of cash on hand. They've already put up uh, a down payment, be it three percent or or five percent if they're doing a conventional loan, and they don't have that extra three percent to pay the closing costs. So what does the listing agent do as well as the buyer's agent? They negotiate that and they may bump that price, the purchase price, up by that 3% to cover those additional fees. So at the end of the day, the buyer actually ends up financing those fees. You guys are going to have a lot better chance at doing that than trying to convince a buyer to write a check out to you as a buyer's agent to pay for your services. The other option would be that the buyer would have to get his or her own attorney to review the contract agreements with them. And who knows what a re real estate attorney is going to charge. And they're not in the business to go showing property. They're all about contract agreements, so they would be happy to look over any agreements that you may have before finalizing a purchase and sale agreement. But simple solution, folks. Buyer's agents, just get out there and do what you've always done. 
negotiate your commission into the deal. If you have to bump the price up to cover your commission, so be it. At the end of the day, everybody's happy. As long as the seller is getting what they want, listing agent gets paid the commission, and the buyer's agent gets paid their commission, and it's, it's business as usual, folks. So I hope that helps. Uh, please chime in below, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to get some feedback from you and hear your take on this, uh, this segment as well. Until then, folks, make it a great day. Bye for now.